Good evening, everybody. Well, you know, even for snakes, the grass is greener always on the other side of the fence, though there's no fence. But uh, Jesse has been over in the climbing area for quite some time. But I knew I could see him constantly checking this climbing area out and I knew he would come over. Though I definitely did not make this for Jesse, who is a heavy lug, you could say. Are you not a heavy boy? And I hope that the fan is, you know, well secured. Oh, there's a leaf. Very secure for this chappy and it doesn't all come tumbling down on. I don't believe that it would um, at all. Jesse, whoa, I keep making a mess of this because I have a, a microphone and it keeps on, yeah, changing everything on me, sorry. Uh, but yeah, he is of course exploring and we're in the dark zone, naturally. Uh, he well, I'm back and I don't know how far I got into the video, um, but as he phoned me and we FaceTimed actually, and I love doing that. So I decided I would pick up and I would just let Jesse continue on his way and do some more exploring which he has done mind you all over the place now what he's doing right now is he's checking out um, this heat mat which I have put down sorry I'm trying to get in there I'm stepping on my bag and all sorts of things here but oh I zoomed in too which is okay I guess at this particular point but this is warm like this is really a good temp for him to lay on but he's he's not really sure about it but he's given it a good check over i'm sure he can feel the warmth there he just hasn't made up his mind whether it will i think support him um he doesn't know what is actually underneath it I guess which is the old hammock that they've always laid on so I'm kind of letting him know that it's quite quite secure there and there are branches of course under it as well um, it's brand new and no snakes have actually been on it so you know Jesse is very curious as to what this new particular thing is and as I said I'm I'm always adding things and and doing things that I feel is and would be beneficial you know to my snakes that's how I like to do it I think you've you don't stop. You shouldn't stop. You shouldn't just say, that's enough. They'll be happy with that. That's that's fine. They don't need any more. They're, they're okay. Um, just leave things as it is. It is about thinking about things and making decisions about things. Jesse, it's okay, buddy. There's, it's quite secure here dude and you would be quite comfortable on there actually because I'm telling you it's winter and it's a little bit nippy hence why I have the heat lamp up there going but 
you know, this is where they they can get some belly heat um, if they choose to, and also if there's more than one snake out. There's two areas where heating is available for them, and often Lily will lay down here. And admittedly, I must say, comes down here maybe to get away from the heat, but she has plenty of options to move over or go higher up on the area. Um, she doesn't have to come down to this particular area and she'll learn that this is warm and there are other areas where she can move over and cool herself off. She doesn't need to actually come down here. Now, if it's, you know, come summer, of course, all the heating isn't going to be going. They're just not going to need it, are they? But in winter, I I like to and know that they're nice and warm. And what I've normally done, of course, is I have my heating, heater going, as in my reverse cycle air conditioner. And, you know, I warm up the whole house which is fabulous for my snakes but i can tell you for me it's not so good so i looked for alternatives i looked at ways of my snakes still being able to stay warm when they're out and keeps me comfortable at the same time and why not if i can do that it's benefiting the snakes they're not losing anything and they're keeping nice and warm out and I know they're quite nice and warm because they can get heat maybe the ambient temperatures aren't so good but you know it's not freezing in my house either I have actually a really nice nice warm house here which I'm very for I'm just looking to see where Archie might be because I saw him earlier checking me out out here possibly looking at wanting to come out but he's he's actually going to get a meal and don't don't touch that lamp see smart too hot move away don't don't touch it and that's why I don't have an issue with having that that lamp up there because I've never seen them go to it and of course like I said Archie is at his door um, but he's hungry he didn't eat the last meal and that generally means I just wait uh, about four days after when I think he might be hungry of course and he will generally eat so I have a hopper thawing for him right now but today's little venture for me you know, like I said, I am always thinking um, of what to do new, different um, for my snakes is creating things that they can climb on. And even though the little ones like Archie do have the fan area where they get to spend time, which is fabulous. They do love it and, you know, spend a lot of time and especially Archie because the higher the better when it comes to this chap, I tell you, he can't get high enough. Hence why I need to switch up his enclosure. But today's venture was, if I can scoop myself around and not step on this lead, but I have made this which is a weird looking plastic thing I know but basically it is light it is easy and it's very movable because it's so light one-handed pick it up and away I go so my daughter bought this actually to make um it's a basketball thing, apparently. 
I didn't see it all together, but one of the kids actually broke it and snapped a couple of pieces. So instead of throwing it away, I took it and decided this is what I'm going to do. And I realized my microphone isn't in, so I hope the sound's okay. But I've put it all together and it's kind of slapdashy and, you know, making the pieces work and so forth. But I've put a little hammock area, which is an old cushion cover um, that I just, yeah, put some string through, you could say, and connected it all up. And I think the little ones, the Oscar, the Car, the Archie, not so much the Ishi and so forth, are going to enjoy this and... I've yet to have any of them on it, but um, I'm sure they will. And I can see Archie is going to be able to reach up here anyway and get all the way up there when he's on this. But it's a good safe place for my little ones to hang out with me. And also while I'm cleaning out their enclosures, I do have the other jungle gym outside which has gotten rather rickety over the years and I no longer really put my big snakes on it. Lily has used it of course when she comes to the bathroom for me but apart from that um, it's not really used so I will take some of the, the leaves or the vines with all the leaves on it off and put it on here um, not a lot but just a few just to cover it a little bit and we'll see how that goes and I will show you a video of course when I have one of the little ones out and climbing on it so it looks like my Jessie has settled down up up top there and I don't think he's going to be moving too much now. Although it's Jesse, it's not my um <laughs> Lily. I had to think like it's getting late into the evening and I just want to sit down and chill out, which I plan on doing uh, very soon. So, you know, when you're somebody that really believes in enrichment and giving your snakes enrichment we don't stop and just say to ourselves well they've got enough now and there's plenty because I know they like more things different things to do and you can maybe just see oh no he's just moved his head but you know giving them some new things to try that's what it's all about and that's why I added the shelf and now I've I've added a heat pad for them to to have there to lay on if they if they choose to um, you know it's a different feel different textures you know they're all so important to snakes um, to offer them and that's what I do. That is what I always do. And it may not be, you know, it might be every few months or every couple of months I try and do something different for them. And I think we should. Because even though they've got freedom and they get to come out and do things, they like new and different things. Hey, Archie. Well, he just says maybe a nice hopper rat would be quite nice for me right now, Mum, please. So I'm going to go and get his meal ready for him. And Jesse is, like I said, just settling up top there for a while and he will stay there pretty much till I go to bed tonight. So you take care, guys. And, um, yeah. Ciao.